Previously on Chaos TV. Boom! Wait, what? No animation. How anticlimactic. Yo, what up dudes, welcome back to another episode of Rage Shadow Legends So you managed to get your hands on Raman 2 Drake's Bird And what's going on in your mind is now How do you build this champion, okay? For PvP Because Raman 2 is a PvP oriented champion He is known for the block passive skill The AoE block passive, which is very strong and I've been looking around YouTube and looking around my guild chat They were asking for a guide, so here's the guide Okay, um, the videos that you see on YouTube are probably outdated um, They are dated a, a year ago on uh, Raman 2 Drake's Blood Nowadays, people just gear Raman 2 in one set of stone skin, okay? so. This is how you should build Raman 2 One piece of stone skin, four pieces to be exact And one set of perception Alright This is because um, previously it was in immunity And stone skin just replaces immunity like, like that <laughs> Okay, Because you can use this build and either you go first or go second, it doesn't matter Because if you go second he still survives, right? Survives the um, enemy CC and enemy nukes, right? Which is so good. Um, okay, so the, the stats that you will be looking for is accuracy and speed mainly. Accuracy, ideally, it should be uh, over 600 if you are looking to push for plat, right? And good speed, okay? Um, although you are still in stone skin, um, you can't be too slow, okay? So ideally, it's you are looking around um, 280, 290 speed minimum for Raman 2 And survivability stats You see my Raman 2 here have a bit of a crit rate Because that's my own preference, it's up to you Because I put him in a crit rate glove, right? He can still do some damage with his um, 4 hitter A2 Okay um, just briefly go through the skills The A1 basically will just have a chance to uh, stun the target If all his skills are increased to the max The cooldown increased to the max So if he increase the cooldown of the skill successfully He will decrease one of the skill around your team By random Okay. Very OP OP on the A1 already <laughs> The A2 will just Put a buttload of debuffs on one single target Decrease defense, weaken, decrease speed And block buffs, right? So if he manages to put all these debuffs on that target He also has a 100% chance to place true fear on everybody <laughs> Which is crazy The A3 is the money shot Going to put either block passive or block active skills depending on the champion's nature If the champion doesn't have any passive skills Then he'll place block active skills instead Also, he will remove all the buffs He's a buff stripper, right? Book to 100% chance and a 3 turn cooldown Passive is really whatever If he got CC, then he will have a chance to Increase turn meter and place an increased speed And a shield on himself The blessing of choice should be temporal chains Okay, this is um, to slow the opponent down basically um, If you have a better option, let me know down in the comments below for the blessing He also brings a very strong aura 80 accuracy in all battles So normally you see people just put Raman 2 in lead Because this just gives a big fat bonus to his accuracy Okay So Gear set, one, uh, one set of stone skin 
and one set of perception. Um, accessory wise, ideally you should get revenge accessories, okay? Because you want him to proc the A1 in the counter attack. The A1 is so good, <laughs> okay? Um, as for masteries, masteries went with defense and support tree. Um, so it'll be accuracy down to um, that pinpoint accuracy down to eagle's eyes. Really simple. Defense build 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 him with a bit of resistance, and uh, improve parry, rejuvenation. Okay, cycle of revenge retribution is optional but good for him. Okay. Um, so let's quickly take him into arena with this build right to see how he performs. Like if you put him in stone skin nowadays, he is so good right. Let me just find a speed team. Uh, he's just good, so good in any go second team. Uh, okay, the nuker can be any nuker. Okay, doesn't need to have Baron. Just showcasing him in uh with a with a Baron as a nuker. Okay, just an example. This is my go second offense team. Um, it's so good against Hegemon. If you're having problems with Hegemon, then he's your guy. <laughs> the stone skin Draman too, right? Oh man, look at that. Just strips everybody. Easy. This is how you typically would use a Raman too. Doesn't matter if he goes second. Okay, done. Um, another team that I want to fight is actually uh, Hegemon, right? Okay, Kaima. Kaima would have a chance to strip us. Okay, but we will take that chance. We just want to see how he fares against Hegemon. Normally, people just have um, problems facing Hegemon in arena. If you are still progressing in a mid game, okay, his Kaima is a bit slow. So we lock the Kaima out. Easy. There we go. We just nuke them down next turn. Easy. Okay. Um. So yes, as I was saying, if you are still in progression, then when you do classic arena, right? Um, Hegemon might be a problem for you, to be honest. Like, if you see a lot of free champion UDK, right? He's your guy. <laughs> Champions like uh, UDK, okay? Um, Harima, Marishka, Taras, all that crazy passive champions are running rampant nowadays and it's time that we have a counter to that okay although it's uh, still a long shot but at least we have a countermeasure to that crazy passive right uh okay so you can actually use him with a speed team um like this with a uh, arbiter right Okay, he will just replace your typical Madam Cerise once you have obtained such a powerful champion. Okay. Okay. This guy also blocks off Lydia's passive. That means when Lydia was killed when she has that block passive debuff on her, then she will not revive. <laughs> Can we find a Lydia here somewhere? Probably not. Look at that. Uh, Ramantu in defense. Craziness, right? Okay, very tanky team. So, normally when you face a tanky team like this, he has a Mitrala, right? Um, I'm just gonna put in a Kaimar here. Uh, okay, just put in a Duchess. Okay. Um, just disregard my pay to win <laughs> uh, nuclear champions and all that we just want to see the Raman 2's effectiveness although if he has stone skin on both Mortum Cup and uh, UDK we still have a chance because Kaimar can reset right that's the purpose of me putting a Kaimar um, also because of Mitrala's cleanse right her cleanse can be very annoying uh, let's see here can we can we cheese the cleanse of her? No, damn. Okay, she did not cleanse. Okay, we will block off Mortu's passive. Easy win. 
Có đừng nhụt them down Ok Got that Follow up with the A2 <cười> Oh man, ok Let's reset So He can be very effective against um, Someone like an UDK, right? So my, my Raman 2 has some damage But it's optional on how you want to build You can build him with uh, Hit point percentage or defense percentage gloves, right? Like against all these Harimas, right? Very, very annoying Astralif might be a problem Let's see here uh, Okay I might have to put in a cleanser Astral Leaf's uh, bomb cannot be resisted <laughs> Very annoying Okay So let's go Locks off Harima, easy Gonna go like this Okay Can we nuke them down? Um, yep, okay It's good that we have a uh, Mithrala There we go, we just nuke them down Hariman no more <laughs> Okay, of course this is only go 5 uh, If you go higher to maybe pushing plat Their Harimas are a lot more dangerous than this A lot more tanky uh, Let's see Okay, another Harima team Strip, strip Let's see if we go second and he strip That's gonna be a problem, right? Strips Okay, just go like this Sometimes um, Harima can be a new king Harima They can do a lot of damage instead of being in stone skin Let's see, we take our chances Okay, did not do nothing Look at that, counter attack Right? That's the benefit of having Ramantu with uh, revenge accessories. The counter attack is so good. Okay, look at that <laughs> counter attack again. What? Boom! End of story, baby. All right. Uh, okay, we will not do much here. There's not a lot of crazy passive. The crazy passives that you're looking for is actually. Harima, Marishka, and Taras, you're looking to block off their passive. Really annoying. But this Hegemon team, easy. Um, if I don't use this, he can fit into any go second team, to be honest. If I don't use this, uh, because of the stone skin nature, right? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let me just go like this. Uh. Okay. Arbiter, right? T -t 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 -t. Maybe Mithrala is a cleanser. Yeah, just put in Mithrala. Okay, your typical Arbiter team, speed team. Except that my Arbiter is in stone skin. <laughs> uh. Okay, put in a Leorius. We will not die from them. Look at that. Okay. Uh, okay, now is our time to counter attack. Okay, okay, we don't need to do anything here. We'll just kill off the Duchess. Boom. Okay. So it depends because if you see some slow teams, right, you will use a faster arbiter. Um, just now the showcase it is because hegemon, right? They have a hegemon. They are going to go first. Uh, which sucks for me <laughs> um, Like Tormin, nobody ever uses Tormin nowadays But Raman 2 can be your guy to, to, to block off his passive so that he cannot revive, right? Let, let's see here uh, Okay, I think I will go first I think I will go first I don't have to use Raman 2 in lead uh, Okay, go like this once I nuke them down, then um, Tormin will not revive Also, if I block off his passive um, Tormin will not be able to freeze, right? Even if you don't have a CV 
uh, assuming Mitrala doesn't cleanse. Okay. He cleansed. That's fine. The cleanse is so annoying. Okay. We got the reset. Benefits of having a Kaimar. Okay. We strip again. Can't strip uh, Mitrala. Mitrala is just too... Uh, high resistance <laughs> I should say because of a crazy passive right so okay we're just gonna nuke everyone done uh, okay like um, this looks tanky is it tanky not tanky enough I don't think it's tanky enough wow like this guy look at this guy perfect example to showcase Raman to all right um, blah 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 let's see we got this we got this doesn't doesn't have okay he doesn't have a uh, increased attack champion we will just win easy win why would you why would you not put an increased champ uh, increased attack champion right when you're using rotos unless your rotos is super strong i don't see how you can one shot <laughs> through necrat right Okay, see if he cannot cleanse that off. We're all Gucci. We're just gonna nuke that Rotos down, man. Normally, you can't one shot Rotos, but now you can. <laughs> uh, okay. Can I take a turn? Thank you. Alright, so Raman 2 just goes ahead with um, any nuker that can do one hit normally. I think Tranda will do two hits. Lurius, Lurius has a one one hit and two hit AOE. Half frag subjective. All these are the typical top tier nukers that you can have, right? Um, Raman two will not serve any purpose here because I just don't think their passive is strong enough. Okay. <laughs> uh, if I go against someone like this, um, do I need to cleanse? I probably don't need to cleanse. Right. Okay, so if I go against someone like this, then let's just go like this. <laughs> um, if I block off Uko, that's fine. Uko has a crazy A2 that removes buffs, right? Let me just bait the Mitrala cleanse. Wait, the Mitrala is so low in resistance. What? Okay. Okay. Damn. Did not manage to showcase the strip. <laughs> uh, okay. That's the that's the thing when you're so used to having a Baron. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. So when you are manually air arena fights, right, you can actually bait off their cleansers cleanse by using uh, Ramantu's A2. That will bait their their cleanser to just cleanse it off. <laughs> okay, this is this team is good. Has a candy phone. Has Hegemon, right? I don't know. I, I can perhaps I can just strip off the stone skin. Okay. The necrat is in lead, so it has a higher resistance, right? That's fine. So just strip it. If we don't strip it, it's fine. If, as long as we can kill the person that necrat is protecting. Okay. Let's go. People, people keep saying that uh, if the the the, sh the polymorph that the polymorph blessing makes uh, Raman two not viable. Um, yes and no. I I I think perhaps if you go at a uh, plat level, right? That's true. That's maybe true. That's how you can use uh, Raman two. Okay, he is a very strong arena champion 
free champion as long as you complete your missions okay i don't see why you don't want to get him with all the crazy champions released by plarium all the crazy passives harima marishka taras all that nonsense right that you, that you that's keeping you from winning the fights so ramanto is your guy okay i know there's a free champion called uh, ronda ronda does a single target block passive skill okay but sometimes it's just not good enough okay I, I i just feel like ronda is just not good enough sometimes especially against a stone skin harima right you need to strip off um harima's stone skin then only you can go ahead with ronda so currently roman 2 and ronda are the only two champions that is able to give block passive debuff okay Ronda is a free lock-in champion. I'm sorry if you missed her. <laughs> okay. You're new, to, you're new to the game and you missed her. So you can still get Raman too. Okay. So it depends on how you progress in your mission. So hopefully this episode would give you an idea, a better idea, or to clarify the, the correct build that you should have Raman too in. And you have the correct information to take away today and hopefully it helps um, so thank you for watching let me know down in the comments below if there's a better build um, that you can think of uh, maybe maybe I'm wrong but I think that this is quite a standard build so if you have a better build do let me know down in the comments below I hope to catch you guys later on the next one and be safe enjoy the game play some live arena i will see you guys on the next one you will place a true fear on everybody else besides this target <laughs> okay sorry uh he'll place a true fear on including this target uh the hit point will be around uh, above four hundred thousand. so speed team with Okay, probably not a good idea. Speed team. I'll just nuke them down.